Hi everyone, I'm Mama J and for today's tutorial I'm going to be doing the block stitch. This pattern is a super easy two row repeat using single crochet and double crochet. It is pretty beginner friendly and it works up fairly quickly. So for today's tutorial I'm going to be using a thicker yarn just so you can see the details a little bit better and I'm using Lion Brand Yarns Providence Pink and I've also got white. Okay and this yarn calls for a nine millimeter crochet hook but I am going to bump up to a 10 just because it's easier to work with and it's easier to show a little more of the detail and I've also got a pair of scissors for changing colors. All right so let's get started. So for your foundation chain you're going to use multiple of three plus one. So for my sample I'm going to chain 19 and that's 18 plus my one at the end. Okay, so I've got my chain of 19. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. You don't count the loop on the hook. You've got one and two. See the two there? So we're just going to single crochet into that second chain. And if you want to use stitch markers just to keep track of that beginning stitch if you want until that pattern begins to reveal itself. All right, so we've got one single crochet. Now we're going to do another single crochet in that next chain. All right, so there's two single crochet. Now we're going to chain two. We're going to skip two. So we left off here, there's one, two, and then we're going to do another single crochet in that third chain from our last single crochet. All right, and we're going to chain two, we're going to skip two, and do a single crochet in that third chain from our last single crochet. So one, two, and three. All right, chain two. And I'm just going to go all the way to the end because my sample is pretty small. So we're going to skip two, do a single crochet into that third. We're going to chain two, skip two, do another single crochet in the third. going to chain two. All right, so you'll see here we're left with four. We've got one, two, three, four. So we've chained two, we're going to skip two, and we're going to do a single crochet in that third from the last one. And if you'll remember at the beginning of the row we did two single crochet together, so that's how we want to end our row. So we've got one and instead of chaining two after the single crochet, we're just going to do one final single crochet into that last chain of your foundation chain. All right, so this is the beginning. You can see here where we've created these chain two spaces that we're going to be working in for our next row. All right, so for the next row, we're going to chain one, and that does not count as your first stitch and we're going to turn our work. Always turn your work the right way. You want to keep that yarn to the back of the hook. If you turn it the wrong way, the yarn's going to kind of come through the front and you'll see it wrap around that stitch there and you don't want that. So now we're going to do our double crochet row. We're going to double crochet into that first stitch right here that we ended on the last one. So you're going to yarn over insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's our first double crochet. 
Now we're working into that chain two space. We're going to do three double crochet into that space. So yarn over, insert into that chain two space. And do your first double crochet. Now we're going to do another one. Yarn over, insert into that chain two space. Complete your double crochet. Now we've got two. Might need to tug them over a bit just to fit that third one in there. So we're going to go back in that chain two space and do our third double crochet. So you see we've made our first three double crochet cluster in that chain two space from the previous row. And we're just going to continue that all the way across. So in the next chain two space, we're going to do three more double crochet. There's one. Two. And three. So we've got three double crochet clusters worked into our chain two space. All right, we're going to do another cluster into this chain two space. Three double crochets. There's one. Two. And we're going in our third of that cluster in the chain two space. And there's our third cluster. So this repeat is you've got your three double crochet worked in that chain two space. We're not chaining. We're skipping over that single crochet. We're doing three into the chain two space three into the chain two space and we're going to finish that in these last two chain two space. So if you want to pause the video here, I'm going to go ahead and finish my row and I will meet you back at the end. So to finish this row, we're going to do exactly what we did to start. We did one double crochet in that very first stitch. So that's what we're going to do in this last stitch is one final double crochet. And you can take your stitch markers out if, if you're using those to, to watch that edge of the row. Okay, so that is our two row repeat. We've got our row of the single crochet where we've created these chain two spaces. And then we have our row of double crochet where we have created clusters of three working into that chain two space. And while doing so, as we're skipping over this single crochet from that previous row, we've created another space that we're going to be working our single crochet into. And you can see here at the beginning and end of the row, we've got those tiny spaces. So that's where we're working in our next row. If you're going to be changing colors and not just doing one solid piece with one color, I would suggest doing so on the single crochet row because you can see here in the sample that single crochet drops down that color and it just makes for a nice look throughout the whole piece. But if you don't change with that single crochet, then it's going to look a little more solid because this little piece here would have been the color of your previous color here. So it's, it's up to you. I just, with this pattern, I do like changing colors at that single crochet so I get that variation of that little V that drops down. All right, so we're going to chain one, turn our work. We're going to single crochet 
into that first stitch. Now we're going to do our second single crochet of the row into that little space between our cluster and our last double crochet. So insert your hook into that space and do another single crochet. All right, now this is where we pick up the single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain two. So we're going to chain two, except instead of counting and skipping, what we're going to be doing is skipping over to that space that we've created between the clusters. So you've got your two single crochets to begin the row. You've got two chains and now you're going to insert your hook into that space and do a single crochet. Okay, and we're going to chain two. Then we're going to single crochet into that space. Insert your hook into the space, not the stitch that we created. You're going to do a single crochet chain two, find our next little space between the clusters, insert our hook, and do another single crochet, chain two, find our next space between the clusters, we're going to insert our hook, do a single crochet, chain two, all right, and the last space is just like in the beginning. We've got that space between the cluster and the double crochet. We've got our space between the cluster and the double crochet. So we've done a single crochet, we've chained two. Now we're gonna work in that space. So insert your hook into the space and do a single crochet. So instead of chaining two again, just like in the very first row, we're going to have two single crochet together. So find that last stitch and do your final single crochet. So you can see here, if we had switched colors, you see these V's taking shape here into that space below. We're going to chain one and turn our work and we're going to double crochet in that first stitch. Remember the chain one does not count. So we're going to double crochet into the first one. Now we're going to find our chain two spaces again and we're going to do clusters of three double crochet just as we did before. So there's one two, and three. So now we're going to do three more double crochet in that next chain two space. There's one. There's two, and there's three. All right, so now we're just going to finish the end. I've got three more chain two spaces here, and I'm going to do three more clusters of three. So if you want to pause the video, I'm going to go ahead and finish my row, and I will meet you at the end. All right, so I'm down to my last stitch here, and I am going to go ahead and change colors. If you haven't already, uh, pop over to my channel when you're done here. I've got a video on how to change colors with the magic knot so you don't have a bunch of ends to weave in when you're done with your project. 
So we're just going to finish this row up with a double crochet in that last stitch. We're going to chain one, turn our work. We're going to do a single crochet into that first stitch here. Then we're going to do a single crochet into that space between the cluster and that last double crochet. Right now we're going to chain two. We're going to find that space between the clusters and we're going to be working in that space, not in the stitch above. Single crochet, chain two, find that next space between your clusters, work into it, another single crochet. chain two, find that next space between the clusters, single crochet, chain two, single crochet into that space, chain two, and just as we did in the beginning where we did a single crochet into that space. We're going to do one here after our chain two. We're going to hit that last open space and then we're going to single crochet in that last stitch to get two at the beginning just as we did when we started. All right, so I finished my single crochet row. All right, so now we're going to move on to our double crochet row. We're going to chain one, turn our work, and we're going to do a double crochet in that first stitch. All right, and we're working into that chain two space, three double crochet. There's our first cluster of three. We're going to work into that next chain two space. One. Two, and three. All right, so you'll see the repeat here. It's the pattern is completely revealed itself. If you don't like the drop down here of the V, then you can just change colors at the double crochet row and it'll be more of a, a solid line. So I'm going to finish these last three clusters of three double crochet and I will meet you at the end with that last double crochet. So I am down to the end of my row and I'm just going to finish it off with a double crochet. And there you have it. So there is our repeat. We've got single crochet, creating chain two spaces. We've got double crochet, creating clusters of three double crochet within that chain two space. And then those are just repeated throughout the entire piece. All right, thank you all for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you have fun working up a blanket with this block stitch. Till next time, have a great day.